Welcome to the Airlift Workshop, where you get expertise from the air suspension specialists, keeping you on the road and in top condition for over 70 years. Today, we'll be demonstrating the installation of our Load Lifter 5000 Air Spring Kit on a Ford F-350. Installation may take up to two hours to complete using common mechanics tools. Remember, this video does not replace your installation guide, so grab yours out of the box and let's get started. Unbolt and remove the jounce bumper assembly from under the frame on both sides. Remove the clip-in studs by prying on the hinged end with a screwdriver. Pull both studs from each side of the vehicle out from the frame. Install the universal nuts into the frame rail, lining up the holes in the frame and the threads in the nuts so that a bolt can be installed. Insert the 3 8 inch 16 by 1 inch carriage bolts into the upper frame brackets. The slot on the side of the bracket should be inboard of the frame rail. The elongated hole should be toward the front of the vehicle. Install the upper bracket onto the frame using the M10 1.5 by 35 millimeter button head cap screws. Torque hardware to 38 foot pounds. Pry out the left ABS wiring harness mount from the left side bracket at the top and bottom mounting locations. Pull the wiring harness down and attach it to the included ABS brake junction bracket. Then attach the ABS brake junction bracket to the existing bracket on the axle with a 3 8 inch hex cap screw, flat washer, and serrated flange lock nut. Torque the 31 foot-pounds. Finish the relocation of the wiring by securing a zip tie around the harness. Let's assemble the air springs. Set a roll plate over the top of the air spring. Install the swivel fitting into the air port on the air spring. Tighten the fitting one and a half turns past finger tight. Set the upper air spring bracket onto the top of the air spring using the holes and hardware as described in the installation guide. Torque the hardware to no more than 20 foot pounds. Flip the assemblies over and set a roll plate onto the bottom of the air springs. Insert two 3 8 inch 16 by 10 inch carriage bolts through the square holes in the lower bracket main plate. Attach with the 3 8 inch 24 by 3 quarter inch flathead socket cap screws. Torque the hardware to no more than 20 foot pounds. Insert the 3 8 inch by 1 inch carriage bolt through the top of the lower bracket and install the lower bracket cup onto the lower bracket main plate and cap with serrated flange lock nut. Snug the bolt down, but leave loose enough for the bracket to move freely in the slot. With the vehicle supported by safety stands, drop the axle or raise the body so that the assemblies can be put into position between the axle and the frame. Set the left and right side assemblies into position so that the lower bracket cup rests on the jounce bumper strike plate. Install the U-bolts around the stock U-bolt leaf spring assembly and insert through the topmost holes in the lower bracket main plates. Cap with the 3 8 inch flat washer and 3 8 inch nylon lock nuts. Snug bolts evenly, just enough to hold the lower bracket main plate flush against the stock U-bolts. While raising the axle or lowering the body of the vehicle, Align the previously installed upper frame bracket carriage bolts with the air spring bracket holes so the carriage bolts protrude through the air spring bracket. Cap the carriage bolts with the 3 8 inch serrated flange lock nuts. Snug the bolts down first, then torque to 31 foot-pounds. Set the lower clamp bars over the carriage bolts located under the axle. Attach with the 3 8 inch flat washers and 3 8 inch nylon lock nuts. Evenly torque the lower clamp bar hardware to 16 foot-pounds. Finish tightening the U-bolt hardware previously snug by torquing to 10 foot-pounds. Ensure the brake line is not rubbing against the lower bracket carriage bolt. If necessary, pull or push the hard brake line away to gain clearance. To install the air lines, begin by choosing locations for the Schrader valves and install those first. See the installation manual for detailed information. The nylon air lines are routed from the Schrader valves to the air springs. It is recommended that the air line be routed along the top of the frame and then down to the fitting, leaving about two inches of slack. 
cut to length, making clean square cuts with a razor blade or hose cutter. After cutting the airline to length, insert it into the air fitting. Use zip ties to secure the airline to fixed points along the chassis. Do not pinch or kink the airline. Leave at least two inches of slack in the airline to allow for any movement that might pull on the airline. Attach the metal heat shield to the exhaust where it's closest to the air spring. That does it. Remember, you can find more information about all of our products at airliftcompany.com. And our knowledgeable customer service team is always just a phone call away. Thanks for joining us in the Airlift Workshop.